Welcome to OSCE Tips for Student Vet Nurses with Jane RVN. I hope you enjoy the video. Hi and welcome to another OSCE Help video. This time, who hand wash? Should last about 30 seconds. I'm going to show you the World Health Organisation six steps, but with no risk. Other options are available. If you can evidence them, they should be acceptable for your exam. In a quick session, less than 30 seconds, you want to pump. One, two, three, palms together. One, two, three, back of hands. One, two, three, bottom of fingers. One, two, three, clasp. One, two, three, thumb encapsulated. One, two, three, fingers on palms. Ta-da! Thanks. Welcome to setting up for a blood smear. You're going to need a needle and a syringe. It's for a cat sample, so a two and a half mil syringe is perfectly sized. Um, you're also going to need a needle. Now, don't panic over needles. I know we divide into two camps it's where we have either green or blue, five eighths of an inch. Green or blue, both are fine, depending on who you speak to. So you can choose either one. Do not panic. Set up in a sterile fashion, so no popping through the paper. And you'll note full PPE because this is a lab task. So practice wearing the right size gloves and setting it up. Make sure the bevel is round as you would for taking blood. And important, loosen that plunger because we know that increases the pressure for pulling the blood through, which causes more damage than a different needle size. Pop that in your box. Then you have to choose the blood sample. So we know it's a haematology, so that is going to be an EDTA. And at the end, remember that you need to fill in that blood tube. You will be given some patient details, and we'll do that at the end. Gloves. Now it's not clear whether the gloves are for you to wear or to provide for the person taking the sample, so I would put them there. And now a bit about clippers. You need to be able to turn the clippers on, and you're going to see how to do that next. So you're going to turn the clippers on, you're going to make sure that your blade drive is working, then you're going to pop your blade on. Remember that you need to have the blade drive running and then put the blade on and fasten it closed so that you can see the teeth moving. That's really important in checking that your clippers are working. Then they are ready for use. we need to select some swabs. So we need a clean one for post vene puncture, not just dirty fingers, one for some chlorhexidine and one for spirit. If you don't get offered both chlor and spirit in the exam, do not panic. And if your practice has a different protocol, do not panic. Spirit and swab is also acceptable. As I said earlier, do not forget to label this blood tube with the info given. It's as easy as copying the information they've given you and putting it on that blood tube so that we can identify the patient. Don't forget! Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like new videos emailed to you. Join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at JaneRVN or JaneRVN.com for videos, blogs and more.